I'm doing a uh, side by side of my old bag and my new bag. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cam Can Drum, and I think I'm going to do a really quick product review. I sat down the other day. I really wanted to do a song that uses a couple of different types of sticks in it. One where it uses brushes at the, in the beginning and then switches over to sticks in the middle. So I wanted to uh, put my stick bag and now that I have a two tom setup, a uh, two floor tom setup, I wanted to uh, hook one of the hooks of my stick bag onto one floor tom and hook the other one up to the other floor tom. And I realized that my trusty old uh, DW stick bag, the one that's like 20 bucks or whatever, that's lasted me a good 10 years, uh, if not maybe more, the strap broke. So uh, I went on to Sweetwater. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Sweetwater. And I was looking at all the different bags that they had, and they had a bunch that were, you know, within the, I would say, 20 to $40 range. And then they had a, a, a couple of fancy ones that are leather and uh, they kind of look like their boutique, I guess. And those were more in, like towards the 100 even some I think were like $200. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not into those types of things. Uh, they look really nice, but um, it just seems kind of ridiculous to spend that much money on a stick bag. I mean, gear in general is so expensive. Like I was looking at the new DW double bass pedals, and I think I saw one for like $1,300. And it's like crazy. I, I could never, even if I won the lottery or whatever, I don't think I would ever feel comfortable paying that much money for a double pedal, you know? Because the double pedal that I have, it's the DW, let me look over here, 7,000, right? It's DW 7,000. I think I might have paid maybe two, three hundred $300 for it, $200. Yeah, I think my, my limit would be 300 bucks. I remember looking at the 9,000s and they were like, five six hundred dollars and it was like no way and you know like i can I'm, I'm not good at double bass pedal right but uh i can i can kind of hold my own i can do what i need to do on this seven thousand pedal uh, i don't believe you know there's it's always I'm, I'm sure it's it's much nicer you know it's it's probably like going from uh, a honda accord to a high-end mercedes or something like that but still the honda accord is going to get you from point A to point B, uh, the same way that the nice Mercedes is. And that's kind of how uh, I go about buying gear. You know, like I obviously, I bought the DW design kit uh, where I could have bought a Pearl Export or something. But there's certain things like I, I used to own a Pearl Export and it was, it was rough, you know? Owning DWs for pretty much most of my playing career, you really don't have to tune them. You just kind of put the heads on and you make sure that they kind of sound even all the way around and that's it and they stay in tune for as long as you have those heads and as long as those heads don't get too warped that's the secret to me of a dw now maybe if i spent a 13 uh, 1300 bucks on a double pedal it might last me the rest of my life whereas maybe the 700 might last or 7000 might last i don't know 10 years or something who knows uh but in any case yeah i just couldn't Pull the trigger on a really nice stick bag. Uh, so I went ahead and I bought the uh, Promark. It's uh, I'll, I'll turn the camera around and I'll, I'll show it to you guys. I want to see if, if... Okay, so it's the Promark Transport Deluxe Stick Bag. It's a cool looking stick bag. The Promark branding on it is not strong. So it can kind of... Like it's, it's a little bit hidden. So it doesn't like... It's not loud like a lot of the other stick bags... Um, the, their branding is, is so, you know, it's it's right there smack dab in your face. And I kind of don't really like that. I don't like that with clothes, you know, like I don't like um, labeled stuff. I don't like wearing Nike or Adidas and um, people can see like, oh, you're wearing Adidas. And I don't know, I just, it's not my style. So same goes for things like uh, stick bags and whatnot. I, I just, I'd rather the the branding kind of blend in with the, the look of the product. So let me turn the uh, camera around and I will show you this stick bag. I kind of looked over it like once over really quick and I've got some, uh, some pros and cons, I guess, for it. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go. This is the Promark Transport Deluxe Stick Bag. You see it's got this uh, 
really cool coloring to it. I don't know what you call it. Um, not really like camo or like a camping sort of style. Yeah, I'm not very good at <laughs> trends and whatnot, na naming trends, but it really looks cool. It doesn't, it, you know, for a drummer, obviously it looks like a stick bag, but if you're not a drummer, this could pass off as kind of anything. I mean, you could probably even put like a wine bottle in there, you know, like when you're going uh, uh, to the park and you want to have a bottle of wine or whatever. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But in any case, uh, here it is. I still have the label on it. And as you can see right here, these are the hooks and this is, it's like a bungee cord. So it kind of, let me try to hold it in place so that I can pull it. And you can see it's, it's, it's got some elasticity to it. So this will work really well for me. I'll be able to hook this one onto the uh, smaller floor tom and then this one onto the, the uh, bigger floor tom. And that will solve the immediate, immediate issue that I have right now. And as you can see, there's this uh, cool little pocket. I'm not quite sure what you could put in there. You can definitely put some uh, drum keys or maybe a, a drum dial or something metronome or something like that. Um, but then here we go. I'm going to put this onto the chair so we get a better view. And you see this uh, nice long strap that you could put around your shoulder. That's kind of cool. You also have a cool handle right here. That's also pretty cool. Oh, and I didn't even re realize that it's magnetic. So it snaps together. That's really cool. But yeah, I think I think it kind of the 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 pros kind of end there because once I open this thing up, and I don't know about scaling on the screen, but right off the bat when I open this thing up, it's pretty tight. There uh there's a small pocket here, an even smaller pocket here. And then one pocket that goes all the way across here. But the pockets are tight. So I don't imagine you can put more than, like right here, you can probably only put one pair of sticks here. Here you can maybe put two pairs. So what I'm thinking is I will probably put my main pair of sticks that I play right here. I will probably put my brushes brush sticks and mallets. I'll try to fit all six of those in here. If not, one of them will have to transfer over to here. Then I can probably put maybe two or three pairs of backup sticks here. You know, if, if I was gonna go to a recording session where I would need all of my tools, I definitely wouldn't use this bag. And I'm not the kind of person that likes to use multiple types of bags. So to me, this is probably not a great buy. I bought it more for the looks and for these uh, elastic bungee hooks than anything. If I really had to make a call right here, I would probably return this and get something bigger, but I'm usually pretty lazy about stuff like that, and I probably probably will keep it and use it until I'm fed up with it and then <laughs> go and buy something else. Here we go, like here's, here's another pocket. This looks more for like if you're a guitar player and you wanna put guitar strings in here. I'm not really sure what some of these pockets uh, can hold and, and what you know other than like really when I buy a stick bag I want to use it for sticks like this I don't get what this is about I mean I guess it's cool that you could put an owner's tag a name tag in here but really it's uh it's kind of pointless um, and then there's really not much else to the bag there's nothing on the back so yeah you know there's there's some good and bad things to this stick bag but let me try to fill it up and I'm gonna cut here and I'll, I'll come back with it filled up with some stuff. I've gotten to the um, landscape view, which I probably should have been doing this entire time. So my apologies, but I'm doing a uh, side by side of my old bag and my new bag. So this is the DW bag. Uh, let me see if I can move this around so that you can see the loud branding I'm sure you guys already know what it looks like, but there you go, DW. I mean, it's black and white. You can't get any more uh, obvious than that. Maybe if it was like purple and yellow or something like that, it would be kind of loud, but I'm a graphic designer. So <laughs> branding really is part of something that I usually um, take notice to. Most people probably don't even care, uh, but it is something that sticks with me. And I like the way that they branded this. Most of the branding is on the inside, which is cool. 
branding on the outside I mean you really can't even tell like it's it's mostly um, it's an actual brand you know like stamped brand on leather so it's uh, it's kind of like a invisible logo sort of and that's here again down at the bottom um, but yeah okay so let's see if I can fit everything that's in here into here if I can and it's you know not too snug because you want to be able to pull out sticks on the go on the fly and not have everything fly out. So let's see if I can do that. I'm going to start with the mallets. And yeah, this is going to be... And who knows, maybe, maybe it's just a matter of breaking it in and loosening it up. The things that I do for you guys, you know, like... <laughs> filming with one hand and trying to do something that usually I would use two hands with. Dirty. So there's my brush sticks. Yeah, it's already starting to feel pretty tight in this pocket. And I've got my brushes somewhere. Here they are. Right here. Yeah, you see that? It's like, it's pretty tight. If I had to, there's no way, oh, sorry. I keep getting out of focus. There's no way or out of frame, not out of focus. There's no way that if I were if I were gigging and I had this set up and I needed to reach down without looking and grab something that I needed on the fly, uh, I don't think that I would be able to to do that with this bag. I think if I went <clears throat> and tried to pull one of these things out, two or three other sticks would come flying out, and that's that's not cool. So, anyways, um, let's try to find my. I think my main sticks are actually um, on the set. Yeah, I do a lot of uh, hard hitting, as you can see. Uh, let's see if I can just like, uh, I'm gonna drag. Okay, here's my head sticks. I'll put those in there. Those are still going strong. I've got a pair of Vader 5Bs. Let's throw those in there. Let's see, a pair of 5B Acorns, Vader. These are a little bit smaller. These are the, uh, I believe, the 5As. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. The Natural Hickory 5As. Uh, put that in there. And see how they're kind of forced to be lined up? In a way, that's kind of cool. That way you can see everything that's in there as opposed to them being, like, kind of bunched up. But at the same time, yeah, you've got one, two, three, four pairs of sticks in there. Um, and I've got one, two, three more pairs left, plus the pair that is on my set now. That pair would go here, which means I have three pairs of sticks left. So this DW bag holds three pairs more than this bag. The cool thing, the, the, the better thing about this bag is that there's these compartments that the DW bag doesn't have. The DW bag also doesn't have a shoulder strap, just has the uh, top handle. And... I mean, you can see how old this thing is. It's it's pretty, uh, it's seen better days. So I'm gonna... Yeah, so all in all, I think if I were to grade this thing, it would probably be a C. Uh, it could definitely be bigger. It could definitely be a little softer, just so that, you know, you can pull a stick out without without the fear of other sticks flying out as well. But I love the compartments. I love the handle. I love how it... Mad like it's I doubt that it really does much. It's just a cool little detail. And of of course again I love these bungee hooks. <sighs> okay, so I actually went and set up the uh stick bag onto my two toms. <clears throat> and here is the deal breaker. Check that out. So I've got the one bungee hook onto this tom, the other bungee hook onto this tom. That works fantastic. What doesn't work for me are these handles sticking up about a good inch and a half, two inches almost, above the rims of these toms. So when I'm sitting down and I'm playing and I go and I won't go to hit the tom, I'm gonna hit this stick bag, the handles of the stick bag. Not necessarily my hands, but definitely my sticks. 
So that is a big problem. And I, I, you know, when I put this on here, I was like trying to figure out if I can somehow bend these backwards. And if I have to force it, that's, um, that's bad product design. They don't go down unless I force it down. Um, so that's not going to work, actually. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, this will definitely get in the way. So, oh, my baby's crying. I'm going to have to return this. Uh, I'm going to have to revise my grade from a C to an F because it fails to do what I need it to do. And I believe that that F is not because of, it's not something uh, uh, for me personally. It's something that's gonna affect pretty much everyone that gets this bag. Uh, there should be like a thing right here that will help it to just fold down and stay down when you uh, hook these things up. To me, it feels like an oversight. I don't know why they would allow that to happen. The cheap, DW bag over there has the little thing, the little handle right here, that's totally flexible and it just like fl flaps over and it doesn't get in the way at all. So uh, a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to return this thing and I hate returning stuff. Uh, unless it's, uh, you know, from Amazon. <laughs> I can just go and drop it off at Whole Foods or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, not, not cool, not happy about that. Let me, uh, let me reverse the camera here. So yeah, that is, uh, that's the end of this little product review thing. Um, I had high hopes for this stick bag. I, li I really liked the way that it looked uh, on the pictures online. Uh, when I first opened it up, I was like, yeah, this thing looks pretty sharp. And then I felt it and it, I had this juxtaposition of it being a good bag, bag and a bad bag just by feel. Not even opening it up yet and seeing what it can do. And then when I opened it up, uh, it felt pretty tight. I knew that I was only going to be able to have a limit, limited amount of sticks in there. And then there was all these other compartments for other stuff that I probably wouldn't hardly ever use unless it was just, you know, moon gel or uh, drum keys and whatnot. But you really only need one one pocket for that. The one thing that I did really like was the, uh, the, bungee, the bungee hooks. Um, that should be on every stick bag, in my opinion. But then, you know, yeah, when I put it onto the set and it was just like hindering me playing the, the floor toms, that was just the, uh, the straw right there. So I don't recommend this bag. Um, if they, if they are able to fix it in the future, then I think it would be a, a decent bag for that price point. But as of right now, it's, it, I really have zero use for it because it in inhibits um, how I play. There's two reasons for having a stick bag. One is to transport your sticks to wherever it is you're going to play. Two is to be able to hold your sticks in a, in a, in a position that you can grab them really quickly while you're playing and not get in the way of your playing. So half of the purpose of the bag, it doesn't serve that purpose. You know, for me, I'm a, a very sedentary drummer. You know, I'm not going out there and gigging. I'm not at the moment doing any kind of studio work that's outside of this studio. So I'm basically here. So I don't have to travel with that bag. That bag is gonna stay right there hooked up to my toms. So if it's, you know, if it's not doing its job, I can't use it. So I'm gonna have to return it. Um, and you know, that's that. For, for other people that are looking to buy this bag, yeah, I would say don't, you know, unless Unless your, unless your lugs, let me see here. Unless your lugs are like way down here so that you can hook it and the, the bag sets, sits lower and, and therefore the, the handles sit lower as well. Uh, unless your drum set is like that, uh, I, I would imagine that a good portion of drum sets, these handles are gonna just get in the way. So I don't recommend anyone getting this and I hope that they you know fix it in the future because the rest of the bag is is good so yeah that is that is the end of this review uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was informative and I hope that you know if you do end up buying this bag and setting it up and it works for you let me know um, hopefully I've given you fair warning for 
for not using this bag because I don't think it'll it'll work in any really scenario for any drummer. I hate, again, I hate, hate, hate returning things. I really do hate it. So the fact that I have to return this really bothers me, but I'm going to have to return it anyway because it just, I can't use it. So hopefully you heed that warning. And before you buy that bag, do a little bit of your homework, maybe measure out the handles and, and, and your drums uh, just to make sure that those handles don't get in the way when they're mounted onto your toms. All right, uh, I've been rambling on and on and on. I'm hopefully going to edit this down so that you, I, I don't sound too repetitious, repetitious, but let me know what you think. If you like the video, do one of these, hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, if you have this bag, I'd love to hear your, uh, your comments and your feedback and whatnot. Um, if it differs from mine, uh, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. So uh, yeah, and Please, I want to do a lot more of these uh, product reviews. I'm really starting to like doing the reviews because a lot of the stuff that I do now is, is online. I buy a lot of stuff online now as opposed to going into the brick and mortar shops. And I, I feel like that's just the, the future of retail uh, for better or worse. You know, a lot of times you, you don't get to see stuff like this stick bag in person and you have to test it out at home and find out whether or not it works for you. And in this case, it doesn't, and I have to send it back. It's really good to do this kind of review because then you can kind of uh, tell other people what to expect. And hopefully, you know, like I really didn't do too, mu too much homework. I didn't look to see if anyone else had uh, reviewed this bag. Uh, if I had seen somebody else's review and they had shown that, uh, that issue with the, the handle and, and the floor toms, I probably wouldn't have bought it. So in any case... Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews, so stay tuned. I'm going to put a link somewhere for you to um, easily access my product review playlist. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm, I don't want to waste any more of your, your guys' time, so stay tuned. All right, Cam Can Drum, I'm out.